Ames Global Options Connector Groups. Connector groups let you group system connectors of the same type together to present the end user a single entity to select when doing certain actions, such as resetting a forgotten password, terminating logical account access across those systems, or unlocking an account. To define a connector group, select Avatir Identity Management Suite from the product tree and Connector Groups under Options. On the Connector Groups page, select Add. Enter a connector group name. Choose a name that is familiar to your user, such as Linux servers or accounting systems. Optionally, enter an administrative description for the connector group. Choose your user ID mapping strategy for the connector group. In this example, we'll only show the connector group to users who have a mapped user ID between their Active Directory account and the connector group called Linux servers. The Map Only at System Level radio button tells Ames that the mapped ID records must exist for each individual system in the group. The list of available systems is listed in the scrolling text box. Select the systems to add to the connector group by highlighting them in the list, and click the right double arrows to move those systems to Selected. When the Allow Individual Systems to be selected in the group is checked, it gives users control over the systems to act on in the group. Avatir recommends you uncheck this option and make users act upon the systems within this connector group as a single entity. The Disable checkbox disables a connector group. It can be used during testing of the connector group's configuration so that it is not exposed to the end user community. When done, select Save. Once a connector group is defined or its parameters modified, a web application restart is needed. Select Restart. Wait for the connection timeout message and restart your web application session. When performing an operation such as resetting a forgotten password, Ames presents the connector group as a single entity to end users. Users can expand the group to see which systems are included. However, dependent on the configuration of the connector group, end users may not be able to deselect any of the systems within the group. After the password reset operation is complete, Ames responds with a status. When the connector group is expanded, Ames displays a status for each system in the group. For more Ames Global Options connector groups, visit the Avatir Support Wiki.